I'm driving through the residential section right now. This is really, really bad. I am inside the outer winds of the tornado. I just got rolled. This is not good. This is very bad. It looks like it just went through the downtown section. It did. It, it cored Hazelton. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Twisted, continuing the Storm Chasing series. Now, unfortunately, we are not going to be joined by Jay Killen and Tofu as they are a bit busy right now, but we are joined by Ben and this should be pretty fun because we're not using intercept vehicles or chasing vehicles today. We are using civilian vehicles, so we'll see how we do. All right, I should be ready to go, and I've got two probes with me. We've got uh, Ben here in the Honda Civic, and uh... Yeah, we've got some great weather for today. Uh oh. Yeah, I see, Ben. Um. Oh wow. Okay, so you've just crashed, and luckily we are at Tomcat Performance, which happens to be your own local business. So, um, repairing your vehicle shouldn't be too difficult since we are right here. And uh, yeah. Other than that, we've got great weather for today. We've got around 4,500 cape. We've got an awesome hodograph, and also our SRH is up to. 558 with the strong tornado potential up to an 11 and i've just been hit so um that was wonderful thank you so, for that ben my car my car is broken so when i steer right i'm actually going straight when i steer left i just go further left oh never mind that fixed it well that's good now since our storm motion is going to be northeast for today shouldn't we go southwest yeah let's do that all right Sounds good. Let's get going. Now, hopefully, if we're correct, the storms will spawn in sort of this direction here, and that will allow for some longer track tornadoes. And, uh, yeah, I'm really hoping they don't spawn up here because we're barely going to be able to chase anything. Here we are looking around in first person. So far, we've got some clear skies, but hopefully as the day progresses, we'll see some more storms. I'm actually going to pull over here. We got a storm. Oh, there it is. Now, this storm is actually producing a bit of straight-line wind. You can see it between Hibbing, Prior Lake, and Trent. So that is actually pretty cool. All right, it looks like we do have a radar return for some rotation. And you can actually see it on the uh, K. Hazel radar, but I'm going to switch over to T-Hib. Yep, we do see a signature there. It's starting to grow into a couplet. And uh, soon we might see a wall cloud. Actually, we do right now, just behind us. Actually, we might want to get there pretty quick because we're going to be playing chicken with the tornado. If we get on Kasoda 41, we'll basically be in the path. It's going to be right in this intersection. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get out. Let's uh, open up the trunk as if we were taking the probe out. And we're going to drop it down right here. Yeah, the tornado it's is approaching right the there. town. I'm getting back in my vehicle. All right, I'm going. All right, dropping a probe. We got power flashes. Power flashes across the street. It's in the downtown area right now. It's multi-vortex. There's a sub vortice going across the road. All right, I've just exited the town, and I can see the tornado again. I'm going to try to make a right and get in its path again. Let's take a look at radar. Let's see. I'm going into town right behind it. Oh, wow. Let me know if you see any damage. Uh, their home slap. Yeah, the gas station is gone. Pretty much all the homes on the south end of town are gone. Either that or heavily damaged. All right, I'm deploying another probe. Here we go. It is dropped. Close in the back. All right, let's go. Oh, this thing's dying. Is it? It just shrunk. It it got. Uh, oh quite no, it's small. going into multi vortex. New, new rotation, new rotation over Hibbing, and another one in Hazelton or heading into Hazelton. All right, I'll be on it in just a second. Yeah, the problem right now with me is I've got this massive tornado, basically right on the road. And I can't go back. I might be able to head north. I'm basically going parallel to the... Uh, actually, I'm not going to make it into Hazleton. Is the tornado going to cut you off? No, this tornado is going to like be in the middle of Hazleton before I get there. Okay, I'm in Hazleton. Uh, I do not see the tornado. Is it blinding um, rain? Yes. All right, I see the tornado. It doesn't look like a wedge. Uh, more like a stovepipe tornado. But the rain is just coming down like crazy. And this tornado, the old one, the first tornado, 
is strengthening right now. I'm getting debris effects a good half a mile away. Hazleton Tornado is Tori, and uh, the uh, tornado that is currently just west of Trent is now uh, PDS. This is an outbreak. This is a full-on tornado outbreak right now. Hazleton is getting hit heavily right now. Max winds I've gotten on my probes is 135, it looks like. All right. Where did you deploy again? Uh, just north, like, on the road north of the hospital. Okay. I'm driving through the residential section right now. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm having yeah, difficulty. Yeah, you're, you're kind of in a bad area. Yeah, I'm putting on my park and brake. This is really bad. 180, 180, 180, 180. This is really, really bad. I am inside the outer winds of the tornado. I just got rolled. 200. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm being rolled right now. This is not good. This is very bad. Yeah, I'm about to die here. This is it. And I'm dead. All right, I'm launching the drone right now. I've got to see this. I'm currently in Haram. That is a wedge tornado. That is a massive wedge tornado. It looks like it just went through the downtown section. It did. It, it cored Hazleton. This second tornado is huge. It is a monster. And it's going to head into the western portion, it looks like. Yeah, like Welchel, uh, Welchel uh, Valley area. Yeah, basically. I am going to try to get up there right now, but it oh, is going to well, be... Oh, Wilmart was slapped. That's EF5. I have got to drop a probe and just get out of here because this is not going to be good. All right, here we go. Let's deploy. Probe is deployed. All right, I'm going to pull over right here. We got power flashes. Checking out the probe. Oh, wow. The power flashes are right near the probe. Hey, Ben, the tornado is going into the Hazleton Hills area. I can see that. It's... I, actually, I can see you over there. Yeah, I'm going for the uh, National Weather Service. I'm going to take shelter underground. Let me park in the parking lot. Good enough. Let us go downstairs. So, from what it looks like, the tornado was around 221 miles an hour. Hey, can you see what's going on up there? Yes, the tornado is on the hill. All right, I'm going to look shelter? out the window. Yep, well, kind of. You you got some time. It is going to just barely miss the National Weather Service, but we may get some outer winds. It's safe to say the entire northwest corner of Hazleton is gone. All right, the tornado is passing behind the station. I should be fine, as long as it doesn't intensify rapidly. I think it just rapidly intensified because i just started getting damage effects all right i'm getting really close here to turn around or actually go down this way and i'm good well it's weird we were just here a couple of minutes ago and oh there's a new tornado there's a funnel dropping down where just over there in the distance oh yeah over there all right i'm gonna go over to it see all what's right, going I'm on i'm gonna continue working on this yeah not on the ground yet but about to be it is on the ground looks like it's heading up towards wadena this is starting to get worrying for Hibbing, because uh, it's the last major city that hasn't been hit yet. That is true. We got power flashes on these major power lines. All right, let's go on multi-vortex, I think. It's shrinking a lot. Yeah, it's definitely multi. All right, I'm going to head into Wadena and see what happens there. It really shrunk. It's now a massive stovepipe. Yeah, I can see that from here. I just got out of the rain. All right, dropping a probe right here. It just went back to multi-vortex. I am going to turn around here i don't really think you'll have to worry much because it's currently yellow tbs and it looks like it's gonna hit the if it's gonna hit anywhere in wadena it's gonna hit the northwest corner oh i do see some damage yeah it definitely is gonna move uh into that direction so that'll spare part of the town which is good it's really weird standing next to a monster tornado which is just a block or two away usually i'd be in an armored vehicle or some sort of vehicle but nope I'm just walking outside. Yeah, it looks like the damage isn't too bad. I'm gonna get back in the uh, Subaru. The worst damage I am seeing is homes that are missing their roofs. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna pick up my probes and head back to Hazleton. All right, so, so far we've had one EF5 and one EF4. Um, I highly doubt the Wadena tornado will be rated anything of importance. Uh, prior like tornado, Probably. Okay, so most of the homes on the west side of Prior Lake are 152. Here's the home that I pointed out earlier that was completely gone. That is an EF4 DI, uh, EF4 200. So, going through the tornado tracks, you can see right now we've got two EF4s, 
an EF5, and we've got the Budina Tornado, which is unrated at the moment. So here's the damage in Prior Lake. Not everything is rated, but there it is, and here is the wind field. Here's the second tornado we saw. This is the one that went through Hazleton, and you can see everything there. Here is the tornado that went through the hill section, and we can see the damage there. And then we have tornado number four, which went through Wadena. Here's the wind field, but we don't have a rating for it at the moment. So yeah, I think this would be a good place to end off the video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.